Have you ever heard the expression that size doesn't matter? Well, it does, and perhaps no one knows this quite like India, which in recent years has found itself in an extremely sticky situation because of its size. Home to more than 1.4 billion people, the country has become synonymous with traffic jams, accidents, and completely unflattering roads and roadside scenery. In fact, it has gotten so bad that in 2022, Mumbai, one of the biggest cities in the country, faced a serious problem with over 1,800 accidents in that year alone. Seeing this, the city decided something had to be done, and eight years and more than $2 billion later, they built a massive bridge. But this wasn't just any bridge, it was a game changer, as it not only cut down travel time for the residents, but also completely flipped the script on how the entire region was perceived practically overnight. But how is that possible? What exactly is this mega bridge? And how can one bridge change a whole country overnight? Join us as we delve into the intricacies of the longest sea bridge in India and how it just might change everything. The Mumbai Trans Harbor Link is an incredible engineering marvel like no other in the country. This colossal bridge spans a whopping 21.8 kilometers, making it not just the longest sea bridge in India, but also the 12th longest in the world. This six-lane elevated highway bridge gracefully connects the bustling cities of Mumbai to its vibrant satellite and economically bustling Navi Mumbai. And although this is a massive bridge, the real kicker here isn't just the sheer length of the bridge. The length is just a small part of the story, as this engineering marvel has roads that stretch 27 meters in width, boasting not only six lanes, but also two emergency exit lanes, parallel crash barriers, and noise barriers on both sides. This bridge is not just a commute, it's an experience. Moving away from engineering for a bit and talking about numbers, the project comes with a hefty price tag of 17,843 rupees crore, which is the equivalent of $2.2 billion US. This is one of the most expensive projects in the country's recent history. But why build such a massive bridge? Well, due to its large population, Mumbai is one of India's most vehicle congested cities. In fact, it is so congested that it has more than 2,000 cars per kilometer of road. Besides this, the city also has the most densely packed intra-city railway systems, which carried more than 8 million people daily in pre-pandemic times. However, there's more to the story because in the past decade, Mumbai's car population has more than doubled which naturally would be a good thing, except for the fact that because of this, the 2,000 kilometers of road network the city has is not remotely close to being enough to provide smooth transportation for the city's population of over 21 million people. In fact, the situation became even more pronounced in 2019, when statistics from the Transport Department revealed a 109% surge in vehicles between 2009 and November 2019. According to them at that time, there were 2,200,000 registered bikes on the road, equating to about 1,100 bikes per kilometer. To make matters even worse, an average of 150 new cars and SUVs, totaling 1,006,000, joined the roads daily. So, unsurprisingly, there were problems like severe traffic congestion, a shortage of parking spaces, and heightened noise and air pollution. That's where the Trans Harbor Link comes in, the city's most desperately needed transport project. Starting construction in April 2018, the bridge is expected to handle a whopping 70,000 vehicles per day, which, in theory, should significantly reduce the traffic congestion. Constructed and managed by the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority, the bridge was scheduled to be completed within four and a half years by 2022. At first, the project faced no delay and was well on its way to meeting its target. But sadly, the construction faced an eight-month delay because of the COVID-19 pandemic. 
Following this, it was initially planned to be completed by August 2023, but it experienced another setback, pushing the expected finish date to December 2023. Fortunately, this time there were no more delays, and the construction successfully concluded in December 2023, with Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurating it on January 12, 2024. With a speed limit of 100 km per hour, the bridge is a major development in the area as it reduces the travel time between Ulwe in Navi, Mumbai and South Mumbai from 2 hours to just 30 minutes, meaning this bridge saves commuters a much-needed 1.5 hours of travel time. When it comes to construction, the Trans Harbour Link is no small task. The colossal project spanning 21.8 kilometers with a 16.5 kilometer sea bridge and 5.5 kilometer viaducts on land was constructed with 165,000 metric tons of reinforcement steel, 96,250 metric tons of structural steel and 830,000 cubic meters of concrete. The bridge features a series of orthotropic decks, which allow for longer spans without additional pillars, making up 4.7 kilometers of its length. To make things more impressive, approximately 3% of the bridge was built on site, while the rest was prefabricated and transported for installation, with parts coming from Japan, Myanmar, Taiwan, and Vietnam, converging at Karanja Port in Iran for an awe-inspiring assembly. Apart from being a bridge, the Trans Harbor Link has some really advanced features, like noise and vision barriers. These barriers, covering a 6km stretch, serve a dual purpose. See, the vision barriers hide the Bahaba Atomic Research Center from the bridge's view for security reasons, while noise barriers provide a quiet space for flamingos and migratory birds at the Suri mudflats. Additionally, a silence zone of 2 kilometers was also designated by the MMRDA near schools and sensitive areas. Another interesting aspect of the Trans Harbor Link is the repurposing of a 5.6 kilometer temporary access bridge into a bird watching platform, which helps contribute to both nature preservation and cost savings. When it comes to traffic management, the bridge utilizes the Advanced Traffic Management System ATMS, and the Intelligent Transportation Management System ITMS, ensuring a well-coordinated flow of vehicles. However, two-wheelers, three-wheelers, bicycles, and animal-drawn carriages are prohibited for safety reasons. From a technical standpoint, the bridge boasts impressive resilience with 120,000 tons of structural steel that is capable of withstanding earthquakes and harsh weather conditions, all thanks to corrosion-resistant materials and Japanese technology. The road is paved with stone mastic asphalt, which offers durability and 100% recyclability. Besides this, special light poles also contribute to eco-friendliness by avoiding disturbances to marine life during the night. The force used to build this colossal project was massive. It employed around 17,000 laborers and 1,500 engineers. On completion, the Trans Harbor Link aims to complement already existing vital infrastructure, like the Metro, of which 46 kilometers are currently in use, 337 kilometers are being built, and an additional 50 kilometers are in plan. The project, despite its aesthetic appeal and functional design, is not immune to controversy. While the completion of the bridge, 60 years after its initial conception, is presented as a symbol of the city and the country's progress, critics argue that its significance would have been more pronounced had it been completed in the 1970s. This is because the world of urban planning has undergone significant transformations in the past five decades, with contemporary approaches emphasizing urban ecology and discouraging heavy dependence on car transit. And as such, in today's context, the Trans Harbor Link, much like Mumbai's Coastal Road Project, is viewed through the lens of modern urban and transport planning. Rather than being hailed as a forward-looking, world-class development, it is considered a reflection of outdated city-making models from bygone eras. Thanks to the delay in its construction, the bridge is perceived as a dated structure that doesn't align with the evolving principles of sustainable and eco-friendly urban development. 
And as cities worldwide shift towards more progressive and environmentally conscious planning, the project faces criticism for not aligning with these contemporary ideals. Adding to the mix, there's a bit of a grumble among folks about the hefty 250 rupees toll for the use of the bridge. Some argue it's a tad too steep. Yet despite this toll talk and the controversy swirling around, the bridge made a grand entrance with a jaw-dropping 8,000 vehicles rolling across it on its very first day. Now that's what you call making an entrance, toll debates notwithstanding. Praised by the masses and criticized by skeptics, the Trans Harbor Link is a marvel in engineering and one of the first of many multi-billion dollar projects that are expected to transform India into one of the most advanced countries in the world. But what do you think? Is this the future of the region? Or is this just an outdated structure that has finally been completed? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Until next time.